Well, it's a tough question. What is it about one Fort Mitchell mural that has local leaders threatening to take it down? Tony Moronis is on your side tonight with a resolution that customers, the business, and the government can all agree on. The painting hangs out near Buttermilk Pike on Dixie Highway in Fort Mitchell. I couldn't have imagined anything like how it really came out. I mean, it was perfect. It it captured everything we wanted everyone to get. The company, Coconut Joe's, hired a high school senior, Lindsay Prince, to paint the wall. Whenever the weather cooperated, she would be out here for a long time. It took her 62 hours for more than a month. We had uh, a lot of people say that they would drive past it in the morning and they would just like automatically just have a better day, which I thought was really cool that you could, some piece of art really could affect someone's day like that. Austin Smith didn't have any idea how it was about to affect him. Well, at first, I was told that there was no way we were going to get to keep it and that we could keep it until they put in, basically made it come down. So They, meaning the government. So I dug a little bit and found out that it's all about a permit. So I came over to the Planning and Development Services of Kenton County, that's the zoning department, and asked them what does Coconut Joe's need to do to keep the mural. They said it's quite simple. Fill out the application, pay the fee, and it'll be retroactive. The mural gets to stay. I was really surprised. After everything I had heard that they were just going to change their mind like that, I was I was ecstatic. I was very happy. You don't I gave Smith the application that I had picked up so he could keep his mural. Ten more minutes of work. It'll be done tonight and turn in tomorrow. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Fort Mitchell.